kick it off right here. This is live in the YouTube video now. What up, YouTube? Hey. YouTube, I'm doing this live on Twitch right now. I mean, by the time you are seeing this YouTube, I'm not live right now, but right now I am live. So come watch this on Twitch sometime if you want. Yeah, so lots happened. We got settled in. We did not find our pen pal, but we did find a glove of theirs and we were led out to their place out in the moors, out in the expanse. We're at this sweet bench. This is live. Yo, this is live. This is live as heck right now. Here, we'll, we'll just. It's not centered on the screen at all. But one, one, <laughs> we're just hanging out on a bench. Just chilling. All right. Watch this. To do list. Rail rate, we're going to the, we're going to the railway station, the railway. You want to watch a YouTube? Oh man. Well, if you do, you can go find me on YouTube. Plenty of videos up there right now. Plenty of vids, all sorts of vids. Also, why am I walking like a slow, like a slow poke? Look at the map. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's a point and click game where you can just do the stuff. Where is Kenneth? This is our homie over here. He's we'll talk to him. He was supposed to wait for me at the station. Arthur. Kenneth. Looking for my assistant. Tell me Kenneth. right now. Oh I. His train has arrived. Not a single soul disembarked the last train, Miss Bateman. Impossible. You're going to tell me I used the last two pence I had on a beer for this guy? Arthur? Is that, that's what we're doing? It's, 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 it's alright. It's doing alright. I bet it looks great on the new web, the new updated settings. I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. We've already... Mm. It's why Leonard Shaw, he thought I might like to... Oh, I heard about a Hobbs... We this already had this conversation. Story. What story? But I can't remember. Mr. Tillett, please. This is important. I'm awfully sorry, Miss Bateman. I'll try to remember. If he invited you here, then I'm sure Mr. Shoulder will tell you all about it. That's if I ever get to meet him. I'm sure you will. Burn. Sick burn. Was that not the midday train from London by way of Derby? Aye, it were. Mr. Price were here, unloaded a few crates. But no Kenneth. Not a soul. Hold on. One of them crates had your name on it, Miss Bateman. Better have money. A great big one it were, with... A red ribbon. Aye. What is Kenneth playing at sending my equipment but not himself? Curses. Crate, where is it? my crate now? Behind Mr. the pub. took away all the crates on his cart. Who? Mr. Price. He's the postmaster. Okay. Where can I find Mr. Price? He lives Probably at the, the post store, office. Just north of the plow and furrow. You'll see it. There's a royal mail plaque on the wall. Thank you. Farewell for now. All right. So we don't go this way. We well, I think we can go this way. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. The one, this isn't really an issue. Almost everybody that spawned in in this game has been right here. Right in this region. Right here. Right about starts about here. Over to here. See see where it cuts off right there? Nobody shows up over here. That's why my hand's not there. Here? They show up though. Boom. Case in point. Cyril. It's our buddy Cyril. Good day to you, Cyril. I'll do less. What are you up to, Cyril? Keeping an eye on that bleeding railway station. <laughs> That's what. Thankfully, no one got off the last train. 
really hate that station, don't you? Oh, I curse Midland Railway for bringing their damn line through Bewley. This is our town, our land. Tis no place for outsiders. So you keep saying. Anyway, no more trains today. That's right. Almost time to celebrate with an ale, I think. Hey! I could do with one myself. You pay in? No. Uh, no. And using the AI there. Oh my gosh. Goodbye. Ta -las. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Don't want to go that way. Uh, this game is beautiful. Absolutely. Can I read my letters? All right, right click. All right. Blacksmith, let's go here. Let's go here. Psych, I meant the other way. Super juicy game. You know, it would help. I'm clicking every which way wrong right here. Church base, you know it. You know it. Okay, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna go over here. Look what I found. That must be the postmaster's storeroom. But who are you? This is the postmaster's again in the spot. Who are you? Hello. Good day. I haven't seen you in Bewley before. I'm just visiting. Is this guy guilty? It's nice to see a new face. We don't get many visitors. My name's Henry. Henry Long. Nice to meet you, Henry. Thomasina Bateman. Wonderful. What a treat. The mint, the mint is a solid choice. You seem in a good mood, Mr. Long. It's just lovely to see a new face. Where are you from, Miss Bateman? I lied to the old lady outside of the train station. Barkeep, the innkeeper, wanted me to be truthful. Or flip flopping. No, we told the truth also to the priest that we were not of the faith. Bakewell. Not too far away then. I've never been myself. Have you traveled much, Mr. Long? Why on earth would I ever want to leave Bewley? I have all I need here. I Murderer. In this very home I stand in front of, Bewley is in my blood. Why would I ever want to leave? Especially now I can meet new folk thanks to the railway line. That's something the killer would say. Your opinion of the railway station differs widely from your fellow townsfolk, Mr. Long. I've not met anyone particularly keen on it. That railway line is the start of a new era for Bewley. Mark my no, words. No, this probably There's legit. Much to protect here, but we need new blood. I hope that some of you visitors will actually stay here permanently. Why is that? So I have new friends to talk to. <laughs> now back up to you saying new blood. Some people here don't want any new friends. Cyril Farnaby, the miserable old sod, is the worst offender. This guy right here. Okay, no, you seem like a pretty cheer guy. Oh, we could use some new blood. Sort of name is Bewley. It's a town. Boom. I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. One of those old burial hills. Yes. Do you know where it is? Believe it or not, I haven't set foot on the moor since I were a child. Why is that? I've got all I need right here in Bewley. And we're all truly. <laughs> no, I literally with the don't need to leave town. Which brings us lovely new faces. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger. Literally does not leave town. The postmaster isn't home. If you're looking to collect your post, you'll have to wait until he gets back. You didn't think to tell me that, buddy. All right, you have to you have to actually click exit every time. Oh. 
Dude's still here. Do you know where I can not to be found? You know of local don't concern you. Goodbye. Right. There are the innkeeper back. Nope. All right. Postmaster's not here. Did not want to go in the alley, but whatever. Wait, if one of the kids is here. Your sis, you won't talk. You don't say much. Good day. What do you know about Lord Panswick? I heard he owns the whole And he'll talk. He'll talk. Have you met him? No. That's no, the name of a vitamin shop there. in New Jersey. But everyone does what he tells them to. Why is that? Because he has a lot of money. Goodbye. Right. Now, if you're here, where's your sister? The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. And then it doesn't let me go anywhere. All right. Can I pull up the pond? The devil's to. Here we go. Nope. Not where I wanted. Hey, you're still here. Well, he took Myrtle. Pardon? He took her and ran off. I hate him. Is Myrtle one of your dolls? Yes. My favorite. Mommy made her for me. She's so beautiful. Wally is the worst brother in the whole world. Why did your brother take Myrtle away? He's just jealous because Daddy is letting me come with him to the market tomorrow. <laughs> Wally thinks I'm Daddy's favorite, so he took Myrtle from me. What if he rips her to tatters? Both. What if he feeds her to Mr. Bryden's goat? Don't worry, Jane. I'm sure he wouldn't <sighs> do such a thing. Where did your brother go? I don't know. I thought I literally just... Maybe, but I have to wait here for Myrtle's friends to dry out. Where do you live? Our home is on the other side of the village, miss. Maybe Wally went back there. Or maybe he's left her out on the moors. Poor Myrtle. I'm going to Mortal. kick him so hard. Where do you live? Oh, oh it's the same. Goodbye. Same conversation. Bye, Here's his... Uh, touch it. Hey! Stay away from that! It's bad luck to touch... I'm sick. Uh... Fine. Uh oh, what's up, bird? The birds in the trees out here. Let's see if uh, there's no way. It still can't do that. Uh, shoulders cottage. Let's go back here. We'll talk to the kid again. Don't feed it to the goat. Nobody home. Wait, but now that I talked to Jane, Good day. maybe I'll get a dialogue option. Nope. How are you? Go away. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? No. Goodbye. <laughs> All right then, kid. Get out of here. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good day. Hello, miss. What are you up to? My brother is practicing his sword fighting technique. I'm to watch him until he tires himself out. I'm tireless. This time last month, it were all about his teaspoon collection. This month, it's swords. Is this what the sequel to Oregon Trail? Our parents don't like us talking to strangers, miss. So you know of it? No. Are you sure? Yes. Goodbye. Bye, miss. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm a tired guy today. Uh, yes, this is indeed the sequel uh, to Oregon Trail, a game about settling on the west side of North America. And then we ended up in, in Europe. So, yeah. 
<laughs> Hello. E yes. Oh, give me the sword. That's a great sword technique you give me the sword. Thanks, Miss. Mr. Crozier's gonna make me a real one when I turn twelve. I'm preparing myself to fight the lantern worm. The lantern worm. What is the lantern worm. It's gonna come back and get us all. John Lampton thought he killed it at the River Ware, but my father told me it still lives. We must all be prepared. The Lampton Worm isn't real, Douglas. Father just told you that to get you out of his air. Not true. I saw it slithering out by the beck, like a giant eel it were. I ran home so fast I thought I would fly. Sorry, miss. My brother has a vivid imagination. Children often do at his age. He said... I'll keep training. You will all thank me when I thrust my sword deep into its fat belly. Douglas, this lady doesn't. Yeah, I guess I can't. Uh, I can't blame you for the mix-up of Oregon and England. I mean, relative speakly, it's all like right there. So, Mr. Crozier shouldn't be promising such things. Don't you think twelve years of age is a little young for a real sword? I'll be a master swordsman by then. Thumbs old enough to get married. Goodbye. Goodbye, miss. Wait, no, no, no. Tell me about Hobbs Barrow. I'm looking for Hobbs Barrow. Do you know where it is? What's that? A local. Uh, what's up? Don't you mind about? Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, we're out of here. Uh, is the parishioners' place open? I don't think anyone. I don't get it going to anybody's houses. <sighs> Which is fair, I guess. I suppose. Is he going to be out in the moors? He might be out in the moors, so let's go to the cottage again. I also could just very much be making this up. Let's try the door again. Mr. Shoulder. Excuse me. What a peculiar, I can't quite see. Golly. Oh, what was this way? I better not touch. The moors stretch into the. Yeah, okay, can't, yeah. Can't touch them and I can't travel them. No, oh, did I misclick? Mm. No, that won't work. It literally will work. Can confirm that it will work. The purpose of a trowel is for digging up dirt. Could be more people. Oh my gosh. Talk to Mr. Plancy. Hello. Good day. Hmm. Father wrote oh. asked me not I didn't say anything. Oh. Thank you for your time. I think I just be with picked you. a path right there. I think that was a path picker. Locked. Anyone in here yet? No? Okay. Unfortunately. So, I don't have any money. I spent my last two pence on an ale for that guy. They aren't mine. Hello, Jeff. Hello. Do you know an old man called No, no. Have you heard of a I, I have. You have? We aren't supposed to talk about it. She knows about how Why not? Because. Would you like to go there? <gasps> yes, I would very much like to. I'll tell you where it is if you I was going to say, yep, I bet this is a myrtle. Yes, but don't tell anyone about it or I'll be told off. I promise. Please find myrtle first. I miss All right, now we have to. I will. Triple backtrack. Yeah, 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 whatever, whatever. 
So the kid was back at the house. Shoot, maybe I can talk to him now. Good day. There we go. Found it. Taken Myrtle away. And what if I did? That's a bit mean, don't you think? Are we fetch she question? Look at this bruise on my leg. God dang! That does look quite bad. Why did she kick you? Because she's a little goblin. You don't know what she can be like. Besides, Myrtle is gone now. I've given her to the fair folk. That'll teach her. Who are the fair folk? The little people of the moors. I gave Myrtle to them. Little people? You don't mean fairies, do you? We call them fair folk round here. Wally, there is no such thing as fairies. It's two, and I gave them a doll. Where can I find these fair folk? Follow the tinker of the town. If bells. this is at the mushroom. I when the wind dies. They dance around their little house. But where is this little house? Just listen for the bells. You'll find it. <sighs> You're going to... Don't think about bringing that door back. That will just bring bad luck for all of us. Goodbye. What did this kid's write? Bells. It's the second time somebody's brought up listening for something. Nope. You know, we're going out and about. I've no Hold on, didn't he also say something about, like the wind dying down? Is it at the bench? Is it the bench? Trying to listen for bells. Are there church bells? Locked. Locked as well. I think they all might be. The pews are locked? Still locked. A memorial list of former vicars. They stretch back several hundred. Okay, got you. I've no time for. He's not messing around in here. Where else would the wind die? There's nothing else. I the alleyway. suspect the barrels are no okay uh Good 
date you. Soon. I hear less wind. I, less. I found Mr. Shoulder's house today, but he wasn't home. Why the bleeding hell should I care, lass? Oh, okay, fine. Oh, one of the. I'm looking for Hob. Mind your own. You really are. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Good day. Yes. Are you sure you don't know? Sorry, last. Thanks All right. for the Huh. Well, where else could I be going? The man is. Hello. Good day. I'm looking for oh, I'm afraid you've just cursed. I saw him wheeling a large crate into his storeroom just there. It must be mine. Have a look through the window to see if Where did Mr. Price go? I don't know. The man were in a hurry. I know he has family in Bakewell. That's miles away. Did he leave by foot? No. By horse. He must be a few miles down the road by now. He said Bakewell. Curses. When will Mr. Price be back? He didn't say. Could be tonight. Could be a few days. How infuriating. I told him I'd keep watch of his storeroom. And I'm a man of my word, Miss Bateman. I shall not budge from this spot. Okay. Goodbye. So, don't be. I'm going to look in the window and I'm going to be like, yo, it's my package. There's my crate. Kenneth always ties a red ribbon to it. I can see an envelope tucked behind the ribbon. Yeah, Perhaps money. It can help explain Kenneth's absence. And money. I'm going to have to get in there. Royal Mail. This must be the. And I think I almost clicked on that window earlier. Hello. Good day. Okay, so you're not gonna. Goodbye. Don't be. Oi, keep away. I promise, Mr. Price, I keep... Okay. Mm, nothing I want there yet. Huh. Oh. I haven't heard Hello. any bells yet. Good day. You got some cool options here. Tell me about yourself, Mrs. DePlancy. About me? <laughs> what would you possibly want to know about me? I have been attending St. Edmund's Church my whole life. I always want to help where I can, so I sell my baked goods and all the proceeds go to its upkeep. This place means so much to me. Okay. Your cakes look delicious. I can assure you they are. You'll not find better in the entire county. What can you tell me about St. Edmund's Church? I don't Isn't think this is it the useful. building? It's been standing here since the 12th century. The box pews in the nave are very fine and date back to the 17th century. The door is open if you'd like to worship. Thank you, Mrs. DePlancy. Thank you for Lord be Alright. Mushroom thingy was this way, right? Oh, I just did it wrong. I didn't mean to click on that door. Hmm. William Pat Modest. Oh, was, did I read this plaque before? Margaret's lookout. I wonder who Margaret is or was. Right. The fun fact: I can press spacebar. I can hold spacebar, and it'll show me all the clickable things in a scene. Oh. Okay. Was this the mushroom spot? Look. You know where my webcam is? Huh. I better not touch them. They could be poison. It 
looks like something has been buried in the middle. Wow. It's almost like I have a trowel to use with the mushrooms. What is happening? Oh! Thomasina, please stop leaving your toys lying about the place. What happened the last time you left your dolly under the tree? A fox ate it, madame. Yes, it did. Fetch it now, won't you? Then I'll fix your supper. Yes, madame. Oh, I actually have to go fetch uh, a thing. And look. Hello, fairies. Hello. Hello. What's for supper? It'll be nothing but a glass of water and a worm <laughs> if you don't fetch your dog. All right, I'm going to go fetch it by the tree. There you are, Josephine. I won't let the foxes eat you. Who's that you have there, little bird? Josephine, she introduced me to the fairies. Oh, fairies, you say? Yes, Daddy. Do you believe in fairies? Of course. Do you see those mushrooms over there? Yes. That's the gateway to their kingdom. That's where Josephine and I go to talk to the fairies. Now, listen to me, Thomasina. Yes? You're old enough now to hear this. There's no such thing as fairies or talking dolls, my little bird. What do you mean? I'm sorry, my dear child. I do not wish to upset you. I just want to make sure that you understand the difference between fantasy and reality. Josephine is just a doll, and fairies do not exist. But, Daddy... Science is the great antidote to the poison of enthusiasm and superstition. Please always remember that. If you hear anything about fairies or the like again, know that it's hogwash. What is it? Hogwash. Did Wally bury the doll, I wonder? I miss I miss that whole cutscene at the end there. Whatever whatever he just said, no clue. Oh, Look. This must be Jane's ragdoll. Yeah. But look. Perhaps these wriggling worms are the fair folk young Wally was so fearful of. Let me grab some of these worms. Let me grab some worms. How strange. There is a hairpin pierced through the arm. This may come in handy. I'll keep it. You know what? I already know what we're using it for. Uh I had a phone call. And it was somebody that, as soon as I answered the phone, they went to like two paragraphs of like a, and I'm just like, I'm sorry. I you like, yes, I have to get going. I, I'm, I gotta go. And I'm like, okay, well, we understand that you have to go, but how about you just stay on the line for a few minutes? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and then just hung up. Here's what's going to happen now. Since I'm such a brilliant person. I just went the... I, I, I did the looper. Well, so I know that I have to use this on this. I can't Try to pick that much I know, but I have to figure out how to get him. You know the kid's gone. Somebody's about some somebody's getting murdered. Uh map, please. I present to you Myrtle. Get out of here. I missed you so much. Now, I believe we had a deal. Hide and seek. Come back. That wasn't the agreement. It's in moments like these I thank myself for not having children. I can't 
can't pry the fossil from the Oh, okay. I need a tool to pry that out. The trowel is too blunt to chip off. Let's try a couple different things. The hairpin isn't I'm not sure what that would They aren't mine to Are we doing this? She's gonna be in the hole. Jane? Jane, get out of oh, there. Oh, so why is it echoing? Don't make me come in. Fine. Purses. The hole is too small for me to fit through. I have to do some. Thanks for your time. We'll be done by tomorrow. So I can't fit this kid here, you. Hello. That's not what I yeah. wanted. Are you from this? I'm from a long. You must have come. I love watching. Have you been on the? Tr no, me. our parents don't have the money for. Father says we have all we. <sighs> Perhaps this nice lady would like to take you away with her on the train. No, I need to stay and protect Beulah from the lantern worm. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, so I can't fit in the hole. Can I make the hole bigger or something? Is that what we're doing? Or is it I have to find somebody else to, to go in this hole? <laughs> oh. I was always happiest with a trowel in my hand. Uncovering hidden worlds within the earth itself, clod by clod. That should do it. <laughs> okay, I thought we were having like a big cutscene there. Jane! Jane, come out this instant! I can't see a damned thing in here. I need a light source. Curses. The useless thing blew out. Jane? Jane? J Jane? J Jane? All right, so I need a light source. The match blew out. Y'all got a lantern? No? Okay. All right, town square. And then... It's on the side of the... One just like this. Oh. I have one. I need. I can't think of anything else. You have a. F <sighs> give me a flashlight. Anything else? Why is nobody giving me a flashlight? Give me a flashlight. <laughs> Sir. Nothing? Okay. There's another thing of matches here. The candle has melted. Jammed shut. The wood must have warped over the years. Jammed. Really? I've stored my cake a box within. Nothing I can do here. Hmm. Hello. Good day. Thank you.
thank you for your nope. time. Okay. Lord be with <sighs> I'm yawning so m I I yeah. <laughs> I spent the whole day at work. Uh old and tired. I've had the pleasure of meeting Cyril. He really dislikes the railway station. Absolutely miserable he is. I've tried to convince him many times that the station will help Yuli. He just doesn't understand. I met him last night in the plough and furrow. Aye, the scene of our many debates. Yeah. Blimey. I could go for an ale right now, actually. Can I buy you a drink? Really? No. I'll meet you there. Wait. Do you think Mr. Kemp will let me open a tap? Perhaps. You could always ask him. Hmm. I shouldn't leave anywhere. Mr. Price is relying on me to keep watch of his storeroom. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? Aye. Funny old fellow. I hear he lives way out on the moor somewhere. Have you seen him recently? No. Not for a long while now that you mention it. Okay. Why do you ask? It's a long story, but I was to meet him in Bewley. He invited me here. Well, I must thank him when I see him for inviting such an enchanting young woman. Don't you, you dare. To me, Mr. Long. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger. Okay, so we can't get uh Hey, you're back! I'm sorry to ask this, Mr. Kemp, but could I please open a tab? Still not in your purse? I'm afraid not. My assistant hasn't arrived as planned, so I find myself in a bind. He must have put the money in my crate, which is currently being held in Mr. Price's storeroom. Well, as you know, I run an honest establishment here, and I do trust you. So yes, I'll open an account for you, to be settled at the end of your stay. Of course. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. Now then, I'll be needing something of value as a deposit. Silver. I thought you said you trusted me. Aye. It's not personal, lass. One can never be too cautious. Can I please have a new candle for my room? I'll go upstairs and replace it this evening. Can I have one now? It's not dark yet, Miss Bateman. <laughs> I never mind. All right. Goodbye. Boom. See you. Boom. 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 Will you accept this silver cross pendant as a deposit? Can I take a closer look at it? It's mine. Belongs. Hi, silver. That'll do. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. Can I get you something to drink? No. Not right now, Mr. Kemp. Wait. Yes. Shoot. No. My assistant has not arrived as planned. Oh, is everything all right? I'm not entirely sure. Am I okay, we already kind of talked about that. Case? If you could hold it for one more night, Mr. Kemp. As you wish. Goodbye. See you soon. Okay, ah, uh, we were close. Maybe we can just tell this guy that we have a tab open and like, hey, we'll, uh, we'll spot you, we'll spot you. Hello. Good day. Can I buy you a drink, Henry? Really? Really. We can talk more at the inn. But I told Mr. Price I'd keep watch of his storeroom. Doors have locks for this very reason. You're right. One drink won't take long. I shall take you up on your offer, Miss Bateman. Let us make our way. The rocket weren't Stevenson's only design, you know. Before that, there were the Blucher and the Locomotion. But my favorite would have to be the Lancashire Witch. I believe he built that in 1828. In Newcastle, of course. Of course. Well, that's me. I better be off. Wait. Ta-ra, Miss Bateman. Couldn't even get a word in. Oh my he God. likes a good chin wag, our Henry. He certainly does.
Henry Long can talk, can't he? <laughs> He's a colourful character. The man drinks like a fish. He certainly does. I've seen him drink this place dry and still be up to tend his garden at sunrise. The man can truly hold his ale. Goodbye. See you soon. Okay, so we can't... Hello. Good day. Can I buy you another drink? I suppose one more ale won't hurt. Okay. I'll take you up on your offer, Miss Bateman. Let us make our way. Am I supposed to like click something in the middle of this? The rear wheels are powered by coupling rods. Would you believe? The boiler had two flu tubes. Two! There were nothing like it. Two flu tubes. Well, that's me. I better be off. Wait. Ta-ra, Miss Bateman. Oh my god. Curses. I'm starting to feel somewhat tipsy. I'm here to excavate Hobbs Barrow, not Hobbs Barrels. Oh, humor. Humor. I've got an achievement Hobbs Barrels. I found Mr. Shoulder's home, thanks to the help of Father Roach. Wonderful. So you've met our vicar then? Yes, I did. An interesting character. Indeed. So, did old Leonard apologize for his absence? Not quite. He wasn't home. What is that man playing at? You tell me. I've decided to find Hobbs Barrow without Mr. Shoulder's aid. Are you sure that's a wise idea, lass? What other choice do I have? I have a feeling he is avoiding me. Do you know where I can find the Barrow? No, sorry. I say that on my mother's grave, Mr. We've had this conversation already. Goodbye. See you. All right, third time is maybe what we're gonna do. Hello. Good day. Can I buy you another drink? I suppose one more ale won't hurt. I shall take you up on your offer, Miss Bateman. Let us make our way. Bugley is the latest of many additions to the Midland Railway line. Speaking of change, I hear the whole frontage of Derby Station is being rebuilt. Oh. Designed by an architect by the name of Tubshaw, if I remember correctly. Well, that's me. I better be off. Wait. Ta-ra, Miss Bateman. Well, that's me. <laughs> Mr. Long can really put away a drink. Thank goodness I've switched to water. Do I literally just have to keep doing this? Oh, I didn't mean to click that. I don't think anyone is. Hello. Good. Day. Can I buy you another drink? I suppose I shall take you up on. Let us make. I think I just have to keep doing this. It really is great to have someone you've oh, to talk to. What? I have so many more stories to share. Well, well that's, that's me. me. I better be off. <laughs> Wait. Ta-ra, Miss Bateman. I've got so many more Mr. stories. Mr. Long can really put away a drink. Thank goodness I've switched to water. Okay, is there like another dialogue option here then? Goodbye. See you. Good day. Hmm. Hello. What do you do? Hey, oh. You're not scared of sticking your neb in. I look after the churchyard. Dig the graves. <laughs> what can you tell me about the church? Now he talks! It's a church. Quite. Goodbye. Dara. I can't think of anything else. Now you talk? Now you tell me that you do stuff? Also, this whole while, there is just a kid in a hole. This appears to be. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to do anything there, but I don't have access to a light yet. Hello. Good day. 
Are you sure you don't know Bob? Never mind. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Actually, I wonder now if I go. I mean, is it just gonna repeat? Hello. Good day. Can I buy you another drink? I suppose one more later. I shall take you up on. Let us make. I'm gonna get a bill for all this. It really is great to have. I've so. Okay, we already did that one. Well, wait. Ta Miss, thank goodness I've. Yeah, we already did that one, so that's not new. Uh, it's not night yet. Okay, you're back, but. I can't think of anything else to talk. Nobody hurt. The road. Gosh, there's a lot going on out there. Um. I guess I'm gonna go crawl back in here. It wouldn't. I don't. Why would it let me start this? So my assumption is that I have to get the lantern out of my crate, but I can't get the crate until. Jane. Henry Long is out of the way. Jane? 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 Dang it. Jane? No. The trusty trout. This one is. I can walk. I can't see how. A sh a sharp hairpin could be sharp hairpin but i can't use that with that to dig out that fossil matchstick isn't working these guys aren't telling me anything do you know where never heard of it thanks for your we'll be done by tomorrow morning yeah tomorrow morning's the big day but Make sure I didn't like miss something. Okay. Huh. Is there a lantern at uh, the cottage? Somewhere that I'm missing. Mr. Shoulder, what was rather rude of him. I've no desire to lug a Okay. Can't do anything there. What if I can't call? Okay, if we go I'm trying to th think of where else I can do something. Can't do anything with the fossils. The hairpin isn't strong enough. The trail isn't sharp enough. The water is icy cold. Did that do anything? No. That won't no? No, no. Huh. Maybe I talk to the sister again. No, it said nothing to talk about. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Do you know a man called Leonard Shoulder? That's a funny name. What do you know about Lord Panswick? He gave me some sweets once. My friend says that Lord Panswick has special trees at his manor that grow sweets on their branches. Do you think that's true, miss? 
I think that's very unlikely. Me too. Goodbye. Goodbye, miss. Oh gosh. Not the only ones yawning. Let me just finish up conversation here, I guess. What can you tell me about Lord Panswick? A most charming man, Miss Bateman. He looks after us here, a good fellow. Where does he live? Panswick Manor, on the moors. No visitors allowed. His lordship likes his privacy. Goodbye. See you soon. There's no more dialogue here. Candle's not getting replaced until tonight. Who do I need to talk to? Hold on, maybe there's a to-do thingy here. Find Jane. Yeah. Need a light source. Yup. I mean, if I talk to everyone enough, I'll eventually... There's nothing else. Didn't click the door, did I? I don't think the I have nothing. Oh, there's nothing down there. My mother always told me not to. So sus to talk about with Cyril. What do you make of Henry Long? Oh, <laughs> an idiot who thinks that station's a good idea. Can you imagine? Strangers pouring into Bewley. Turns the stomach, that does. Maybe he has a point. You could travel. Bah, you're an outsider. I expect you to have such a bad opinion. Oh my god. Henry, he's a Bewley lad. We've had the odd Barney or two in the pub over it all. I can imagine. Can I buy you a drink, Cyril? Now? Yes. Come on, then, lass. Follow me. But now I gotta get... So then, it turns around and says, Why is a dog like a tree? And I says, I don't know. And he says, Because they both lose their bark once they're dead. <laughs> Very droll, Cyril. Well, it's been a pleasure, but I must be off. Aye, ah, lass. Ta for the drink. You're not too bad for an outsider. <laughs> okay. Now, are you going to stay there? All right, you st Okay, you, you stay there. You stay there. <laughs> Forgot that I could even offer the roll a drink. Hello. Good day. Can I buy you? I suppose I shall take you up. Let us make our way. You know, these two are going to run into each other. To think, if that station hadn't been built, we would never have met. Blessed be the Midland Railway. Say it. Idiot! Oh! That station is the worst decision this village has ever made! Cyril Farnaby. A miserable man with miserable ideas. I will change your mind even if it kills me. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes again. Racing through my mind. Kenneth taught me this useful trick. A hairpin is much more than a hair accessory. A few wiggles and this lock should spring right open. Oh, I thought they were going to play a sound or something. I've snapped the hairpin in the process, but I managed to unlock the door. Let's open this envelope. There's a note inside. Okay, I thought you were going to about... Okay. Uh, I beg for your forgiveness. A matter of grave urgency has arisen in London, and I cannot join you in Beaulieu. I've packed your usual equipment and pray you will find local assistance in my absence. I look forward to seeing you upon your return. Yours faithfully, Kenneth Murdoch. How very frustrating. 
I wonder what happened. I'd better get this to the alley before Mr. Long comes back. Moving a fully laden crate through the village square was no easy task. Somehow, no one was there to witness it. But I didn't give up, because I never give up, do I, Mother? I am as stubborn as my father, as you liked to remind me. Maybe I'm just like my father, too Wait. stubborn. Where is my money? It's oh no. Get if you absolute liability of a man. It looks like everything else is in here. Torch. Yes. Specimen trays. Lantern. I mean. Shovels. Oh, my chisel. I'll take that. Ah, oh, my lantern. It feels light. There mustn't be any oil inside. Oh, come on. I'll leave the rest in the crate. Stanley assured me things would be safe here. Close the crate at least? No money and no assistance. Close the crate, this please. This is most inconvenient. Still, I've been in worse situations. I've got a tab at the inn for now. I'll worry about money later. I must find that barrow Ooh. and get on with the excavation. Okay. I don't wish to carry around. Close the crate. Yoink! Splendid. I've managed to extract it in one piece. Okay. of this ammonite now then it is a beauty that it looks familiar <sighs> good day yes i was wondering if you might be able to spare some lantern oil i don't have much to spare lass paraffin is as rare as hen's teeth in these parts how much coin do you have none i'm afraid if you're in a bind, I can trade you a small amount. A trade, you say? Aye. What can I trade you for some lantern oil? The fossil? Surprise me. What can I trade? Surprise. Thanks for your time. Aye. Is it the fossil? Would you trade some of your paraffin for this fossilized ammonite, Mr. Crozier? Now then, it is a beauty that. It looks familiar. I'll take it off your hands. There you go. Wonderful. Let me fetch some paraffin from inside. I was gonna say take the one off the wall while he's inside. He'll never know. There you are. Thank you, Mr. Crozier. My lantern is fueled and ready for action. All right. Now we can go do stuff. Right. Let's put this lantern to good use. Come on. Don't do me like this. Don't do me like this. Jane? Can you hear that faint heartbeat? Jane. <laughs> Jane, come out at once. That's not Jane. Smelly old badger's hole. Wait! You were in there. No, I weren't. Yes, you were. Not true. I was hiding behind that tree over there. I got bored of waiting for you. So where can I find Hobbs Barrow? 
Go north from the church graveyard, up the hill. You'll see some muddy fields on the horizon. That's Mr. Bryden's farm. Hobbs Barrow is there. Don't tell any grown-ups I told you. And thanks for getting Myrtle back. My pleasure. Thank you, Jane. You've been a great help. I mean... Okay! Come on! Hmm. You're coming with me, little fella. I shall name you. I've already taken... I knew I needed a worm. I knew it! Just because... I don't think anyone really wants to. Oh, okay. Oh. Here, kid, kill this worm. As I trudged through the barren moors with only the odd sheep for company, I reflected upon my visit to Bewley thus far. The enigmatic Mr. Shoulder and his puzzling disappearance. The townsfolk of Bewley, who had made it as difficult as they could for me to find Hobbs Barrow. The suspicion, the wariness in their eyes. Only now I know it was actually fear. In the end, it was the innocence of a child, young Jane, that condemned me to my fate. <laughs> I've no desire. Oh, you won't go into the furrows, but go into the barrows. Okay, got it. Ah, the smell of damp soil and rotting vegetation. Yes. There's a narrow door. What do you want? My name is Thomasina Bateman. Mr. Bryden, I presume. Aye. What do you want, lass? What can you tell me of Lord Panswick? He keeps us going. Most of our crops go to feed his animals. <laughs> what <is> he is. <laughs> like? Oh, I've hardly laid eyes on him. He sends his workers here to pick up the crops. I see. I understand Hobbs Barrow is located on your land. Oh, well, yes. Why do you ask? I am an antiquarian, Mr. Bryden. I'm writing a volume on the Barrows of England. Oh, I suppose you'll be wanting to dig about it. If at all possible, Mr. Bryden. I was invited to Bewley by Mr. Leonard Shoulder, who told me such an excavation would be possible. Leonard Shoulder? <laughs> I haven't seen him in years. The last I heard, he were on death's door. There's to be no more digging there, lass. Not since it went so badly last time. Was there a previous excavation of Hobbs Barrow? Aye. My brother dug it up. Must have been, what, 25 years ago. Okay. You see, whatever he found inside, well, it drove him mad. It changed him. Aye. I moved back here to look after him. Poor bastard hanged himself not long after. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Bryden. That's terrible. Aye. Time passes, but it were an awful thing. Who else was involved in the excavation? Two others, I believe. Outsiders, perhaps. I can't say for sure. I think they left town pretty swiftly afterwards. I lived in Bakewell at the time. I oh, went back here to look after Samuel. I took over the farm when he passed away. I see. Uh, yes, yeah, so we are trying to... Go check out this barrel. Uh, we're writing a book or something. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Bryden. I live here with my wife. I might be long in tooth, but I can still run this farm without too much help. What did your brother find? Samuel. Samuel were his name. Sorry, what did Samuel find in the barrow? I don't know, but something went wrong. Afterward, he could barely speak. You couldn't make out a word like... That must have been hard. He lost a hand in that excavation too, you know. Goodness me, how? 
I try hard not to speculate on what might have happened, lass. I'd see him disappear into that barrow, dragging timber him with him. You'd hear him hammering away for hours. I offered him help, but he'd have none of it. Soon enough, he'd blocked the entrance off. To look at it now, you'd never know the thing were dug up. The landers reclaimed it. What can you tell me about your farm? Samuel's we're going all the way side. through. We're a fortunate family. The soil is fertile here. Crops grow without too much trouble. All the other farmers around here raise livestock, even Lord Panswick. We grow up feed for them. Most fortunate, Mr. Bryden. Is your wife home? She's out in the fields, lass, pulling weeds. The curse of such fertile soil. <laughs> Forty years we've been married. I couldn't do it without her, you see. How splendid. Aye, my wife is a fine woman. Are you married, lass? No, no. I've had my fair share of proposals, Mr. Bryden, but that's not the life for me. Marriage is an important institution. You'll find a man one day. Hmm. <laughs> I managed <laughs> well without one, Mr. Bryden. You haven't seen Mr. Shoulder for some time? I hear about him now and then, but it must be a good few years since I set eyes on him. He hasn't been here to visit Hobbs Barrow? Not to my knowledge. I heard he's beset by ailments. Don't leave his home often. Hmm. How odd. I assumed he'd spoken to you about my visit. Not at all. You say Mr. Shoulder is at death. I'm unsure. I wouldn't want to speculate on matters that are not. Okay. Mr. Bryden, may I please have your permission to excavate Hobbs Barrow? No. Ah! I'm listening, lass. Samuel found something in there that's best left to rot. No digging here, lass. No, okay. From the dialogue that I've been given, this is. I'm afraid I won't take no for an answer, Mr. Bryden. Well, you're going to have to. Perhaps I can at least see Hobbs Barrow. Mm, I suppose you've come a long way to be here, lass. All the way from London, Mr. Yeah, Bryden. Yeah, from Bakewell. Mm. Have you any proof of all you've told me? You wish to see proof of what, Mr. Bryden? I can't let any Tom, Dick, or Harry wander around me fields. What proof have you of your claims? Thanks for your time. Ta-da. Uh, so, yeah, so... Weird girl, we now have a worm in our inventory, a chisel, and a lantern. So, we're, you know, we're chilling. Here is proof that Mr. Shoulder invited me to Bewley in order to excavate Hobbs Barrow. Lennon making bold promises, I see. Don't make me regret this, but yes, you can have a look at it. Thank you. Any road, once you've set your eyes on it, you won't be wanting out do with it. The place gives one a queer feeling. So where can I find it? Through that gate to your left. Just head straight across the top to the field there. After ten minutes or so, you'll see Barra. Sit on a hill ahead. Ten minutes? Thank you again, Mr. Bryden. I really do appreciate it. We're doing it. I probably should have brought my umbrella. Okay. Okay. Listen to this music. AR, what's that saying for? AR. I haven't a clue what that could be referring to. Hobbs Barrow. There it is. Look at this thing. And then it just explodes. Indeed, a barrow of a most unusual rectangular form. I've not seen something like this since West Kennet Long Barrow. West yes, Kennet Long Barrow. Make a fine entry for my book. What secrets do you conceal, I wonder? Good time. No. Nope. Touch it. Oh. That smell. Earthy and sweet. Earthy and sweet. Uh oh. 
three, two, one. You can open your eyes now, Thomasina. What are we doing? Come. Are you ready for your first excavation? Yes, Daddy. Capital. Make sure you remember everything I've taught you. I have a feeling you might find something special. How exciting. I'll be watching from the steps, my little bird. Good luck. Thank you, Daddy. Was it he taught us stuff in the whatever? Now I'm ready. What am I what am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to be ready on? Dirt. No treasures here. Nothing here. Is this a uh, keep going until you find something? Lesson? Successful excavation. That urn you're holding is very old and precious. Take good care of it, all right? I will, Daddy. I promise. So... Are we digging it up now? in good I do have a feeling there is something exceptional to be discovered here I must gain Mr. Bryden's permission to excavate okay I'm assuming this is on the map now I don't have map access Was that it? Was that all I was supposed to do there? Darkness falls quickly here. I should make my way back to the inn. Okay, but first... I'm taking this, this bucket. Not I'm not taking that bucket, I guess. Don't wish to risk waking Oh, it's, it's, uh, Mr. Herb. It's fast. I wonder what goat. All right, back to the square. Oh! Oh, it's all foggy! Who are all these people? Good evening, Mr. Crozier. Evening. Thanks again for the fossil, lass. It is truly a beauty. You're most welcome. See my man over here? How long have you been collecting fossils? Ever since I were a boy. The moors look a barren place, but there are plenty of fossils to be found in the rock formations. All manner of creatures to uncover. Such a playground for a young lad. What's your favorite piece in your collection? The ammonite you gave me today. The most recent is always the best. Indeed. What about oh my you, God. Lass? Do you collect out? I do. You see, I'm writing a book on the Barrows of England. It shall be called Vestiges of the Antiquities in Rural England. I document all my findings. But what do you collect? Pottery, tools and such. Bones too, no doubt. No, I leave those in place. You've got a morbid heart, lass. Fussing about in old graves like that. We're not dissimilar in that we both take an interest in the remains of the long gone. I suppose you have a point there. Take How's the bones. Coming along, then? 
Take the bones. Well, you, though I'm rather keen to begin my chapter on Hobbs Barrow. Thanks for your time. Hi. Speak to you later. I'm gonna go play this game. Let's play Good it. Good evening, sir. Uh, I'll leave you to it. Perfect. Good evening, gentlemen. What are you gonna do about him? If he thinks he can take her away from here, he's got another thing coming. I am gonna knock his bloody block off. <laughs> In fact, I can think of a better punishment. Oh, what do you want, lady? Piss off. You heard the man. Charming. Okay. I don't wish to wake him. Hello again, Cyril. You're still here. Did Mr. Long convince you of the virtues of Bewley Station? What the hell do you think? Now bugger off and leave me to me drink. <laughs> he right. seems even more wound up than usual. Good. Good evening, Miss Bateman. Good evening, Stanley. I found Hobbs Barrow. Oh. Remember what I said, Miss Bateman. Oh. There are stories connected to that place. Yes, yeah, stories you won't elaborate on, I might add. Don't worry about me, Stanley. I'm quite capable of warding off imagined fiends. I have no doubt, but please leave that place be. I've come this far. There's no turning back now. That's precisely what worries me. Yeah, we'll I'll have one. Your finest ale, please. I'll we'll have one. We'll have one. There we are. That's two pence on your account. Thank you. Goodbye. See you soon. Oh, one. Oh, one sip. The, the sun has set and rain has swept in. I have nothing. Bedtime then. Time for bed. Tomorrow I shall convince Mr. Only girl in the vault. <laughs> to allow me to begin my excavation. Because we're an outsider. <laughs> Miss Bateman. What? You're our partner. How are you? Tired. Gonna buy you a Just drink? kidding, Mr. Crozier. One won't hurt. Excellent. I feel bad about what happened last night. I'm sorry I can't remember it. That's all right, Mr. Tillett. Alcohol can do all sorts of damage to one's memory. I was thinking that maybe if we had another drink tonight, I might remember what happened. I'm not sure that's logical. <laughs> but worth trying? I don't need any further convincing. Take your seat, Miss Bateman. I shall return with the goods. To Leonard's shoulder. Whatever he may be. I've been meaning to ask you something. Yes? Why did Leonard's shoulder ask you to dig up Hobbs Barrow? Despite his disappearing act the previous evening, not to mention his questionable sobriety, I decided Mr. Tillett was to be my ally. I spoke again of Mr. Shoulder's letter. His proposed excavation and my status as an antiquarian and barrow digger. He was fascinated and quite excited at the prospect of meeting the soon-to-be author of a real-life book. You must find all manner of riches on your digs. Oh barrow boy, a real book! <laughs> Mr. Tillett. Often I'll come across the likeliest of sights steeped in promise. We set to work with shovel and pick and all the other barrow opening paraphernalia you can imagine. Every stone carefully taken down, every shovel full of earth put dutifully through the sieve, and we find nothing. Or you may find a miserable remnant of animal bone or a shard of pottery hardly oh, to be recognized me. from the peat in which it decayed. Sometimes it's as if some Neolithic humorist prepared an elaborate practical joke for your special benefit. 
It still sounds much more exciting than spending your day sitting in England's most remote railway station. Are you all right, Mr. Tillett? I've had another argument with Agnes. Your wife? Aye. She didn't want me coming to the plough tonight. Truth is, I've been drinking my life away since my mother passed. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry for your loss. You're kind, Miss Bateman. Thank you. It's been a year since the old girl left us. She had a horrible end, wasting away day by day. Consumption got her. She would know but bones by the end. I can't get the image out of my mind. She were everything to oh, me. I like his leaning. I'm so sorry. I apologize for going on, Miss Bateman. It's not appropriate. Don't worry, Mr. Tillett. I appreciate your openness. I used to love going for walks out in the moor, my mother and I. Ever since I were a little one, she'd get a tear in her eye as she looked out upon it. She loved this land. I asked Mr. Crozier to build a bench, which we've erected at a favorite lookout. Margaret! Margaret's lookout, we called it. Aye. That's a beautiful tribute. Aye. If you take a seat there, do keep her in your thoughts, won't you? Of course, Mr. Tillett. I can relate in some manner. My father had an accident when I was very young. He's still alive, but he can neither move nor speak. He spends his entire life bedbound and incapable of communicating or looking after himself in any way. How dreadful. He was a barrow digger himself, an antiquarian of some renown. He taught me so much, even though I was so young. I think writing this book is my way of carrying on his work. It helps me reclaim those earlier memories of him. And I visit him often to tell him all about my excavations. Can he hear you? I've no idea. The doctors aren't sure. I do anything to make him better, Mr. Tillett. I do anything to bring him back to the man he was. I am in a state of suspended mourning for a man caught between life and death. Dreadful. Just dreadful. We all have our weaknesses. Mine just happens to be my father. And what of your mother? A cold woman. We haven't talked in quite some time. I think she blamed me for my father's accident somehow. You were but a child. Indeed. She thus saw it fit that a governess should raise me as she spent her life grieving for my father. Well then, I propose a toast. A toast to what? A shared sense of loss. I'll toast to that, Arthur. Now then, enough of this wallowing. Right. Let's just be merry. <laughs> Another round. I really shouldn't. Do it. But no choice. And another after that. And another. Another one. The frustrations of my visit to Bewley slipped away with each swill of Stanley's finest ale. We had great fun that night, Mr. Tillett and I. I treasure the memory. Go on, then. Let's hear those pipes. Uh, mustn't. Sing the song. <laughs> You're incorrigible. Please. You'll make a sad man happy. Oh, all right, then. Clasps, Celts, and arrowheads I'll try to claw within my clutch. And if a shield I should espy, I'll vow there ne'er was such. With popish tricks and relics rare, the priests their flocks do gull. In casting out the earth, take care. Huzzah! I've found a skull! <laughs> Good stuff right there. Hello? Hobbs? Hobbs Barrow? Who are you? What is this? Is that Hob? I'm the one that saved your father. 
What do you mean? We were here 25 years ago. My father. He was one of the two! With the others. He was there, and something went wrong. I dragged him out. Impossible. I helped him then, and I can help him again. I, I don't understand. Believe my words. You'll find proof in morning. Now go. Okay, not me. It just, it's just... One more thing. Oh, what? This is not a dream. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Also, what did that say? Expe ex ex Excipsor? What did that say? Goodness, that was a terrible sleep. This is not, uh, what are, what are they called, like, in, uh, tabletop, like, when you can, like, send message or something, but make it read. The candle has melted. Look at this. There's a book right here. What's this? A real life book. With There's a strange stone a strapped stone. to the cover. Oh my lord! There's five pages of this. I'm already yawning because I know where the yard will read this. Arrived after a decent day's ride from Bakewell, this is a curious place. Locals seem distant. I'm to meet my local contact tomorrow, so it'll be an early night for me. I shall try to keep a diary of my stay here and not give up by day three of the excavation as usual. Despite the thrill of possible new discoveries, I can't stop think I cannot stop thinking about my dear wife. And wonder if I should have let, left her in her current state. I must have faith that she will conquer this bout of illness. So this is, okay, so this is day one, and then this is day four. True to form, my journal has been abandoned. Let that not speak for the excitement I feel for this excavation. After much preparation, we dig tomorrow. Such an, ex such an exceptional site with a unique history. As for the dangers, we shall meet them head first. We are prepared. I also sought out a local wise woman yesterday, and she provided me with a tincture for my beloved's nausea, gravid nausea gravidarum. Okay. What is that? Is that like a lumbago kind of deal? Um, that's. I'm sure she shall... Be pleased with it upon my return. Sure she shall. Okay. Oh! A, lo, a place of miracles. A planted seed sprouted before our eyes and illuminated our path. Nature's laws hold no meaning here, but I clutch my tablet with the knowledge that it shall end this. And we got Rho, Theta, Epsilon. Eleven. Or G. Not eleven, it's G. <laughs> we found the code was simply in the singularity of the characters. All eyes must face towards the seventh Archontic. When the sun and the two moons meet, the guardian shall be defeated. That just looks like, honestly, to me, to me, you guys can't really see it from that side, but that looks like this. Does that not look, hold on, legit? Oh gosh, now I gotta do it, this, does that not look like that? Like if you just took your hands and you did this? Does that not look like that? As, um, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not. I'm not gonna say it. Uh. Ooh. 
A dead language reveals the path. For thou art the moon, the chief of the stars. Listen to the things that I have said. All the words of my mouth reveal thyself to me. I will whis I heard a whisper not once, again and again. I will pour out my spirit, I will pour out my spirit, I will pour out my spirit. It appears to be a journal full of hogwash. Hob I don't recognize the handwriting. Hobwash? Maybe Stanley knows more about it. Hobwash? Come on. Come on! Come on! It was right there. Stanley's been murdered. No? Okay. Good morning. How's your head, Miss Bateman? That was quite the tune you treated us to last night. To be honest, Stanley, I felt better. I take it you slid this journal under my door? <coughs> what journal? Pardon? The journal, Stanley. Well, I certainly did no such thing. Nor could have anyone else. You're the only guest staying here. What's the meaning of all this? Do you propose <coughs> that it Excuse manifested me. itself out of thin air? Well, uh... I'm sorry. I just don't understand how else it could have got there. Let's be honest. Do you ever have strange dreams, Stanley? Me? I sleep as sound as a baby. I had one such dream last night. It was so vivid. What were it about? I was at Hobbs Barrow. Oh? But... Everything was... He did tell different. us to be truthful. Great peak soared in the distance. And there was a creature. A creature, you say? Yes. A short, robed fellow. Eyes as black as pitch. It told me that my father had been there in Hobbs Barrow many years ago. But something went wrong, and the creature helped him escape. It said that I would find proof in the morning. Oh, the journal. You've had a premonition, lass. Please, Stanley, I've no a time premonition. For that but I'll admit it's a strange coincidence. Now, what did I tell you about Hobbs Barrow? That I should leave it alone. Aye. Hogwash. Uh. Your dream reminds me of a story from my childhood. An old folk Put tale. Put Hobwash in the chat if you're watching this right now. I'll give it a thumb I'll give it a thumbs up. YouTube. What is this folk tale you mention? Well, when I were a wee boy, there were talk of a goblin. They say he lived inside Hobbs Barrow, hence the name Hobbs Barrow. Hob, coming from Hob Goblin, of course. Unfortunately, I don't remember anything else about it. I was told not to believe in such fairy tales, Stanley. Don't close your mind to such things, lass. I'm sure Mr. Shoulder will tell you more. Perhaps, if I ever meet him. Things are clicking. Are you sure there was no one else here overnight? Without doubt. How very, very peculiar. So, what does it say inside? Take a look. Well, I can't make head nor tail of it. Neither can I. Maybe someone else in the village can help you with it. What do you make of this stone? That's a funny looking thing. It's got a cockerel on it. Yes, but have you seen anything like it? Never. Goodbye. See you soon. No, no, oh. Good morning, Mr. Kemp. Good day, Miss Tompkins. I'm here for his lordship's paper. Sorry, lass. Mr. Price hasn't dropped them off this morning. I heard he actually left the village yesterday. Indeed, I can vouch for that. Ma'am, good day. Don't walk oh out that dear. door. His lordship won't be pleased. My sincerest apologies, Miss Tompkins. I'll come back in a few days. Ta-ra. Goodbye. <sighs> Goodness me, I can't budge it. Be careful, Miss Bateman. You'll cut yourself. I spent all morning trying to get that bloody thing out. I shall be having words with that scoundrel next time he shows his face. <gasps> Sliced hand. Uh, curses. We have our very own Excalibur. 
It's all yours if you can pull it out, King Arthur. <laughs> I do not wish to damage Mr. Kemp's. That's a peculiar. How is that a peculiar idea? This is a peculiar idea. I A W. Okay. All right. In the journal. Let's go open up the journal again. All right. See that right there. See that right there. Is that right there? Thanks, Stanley. You the re you the real one. Right. I need to convince Mr. Bright. Oh, is, it, is it the Cabbage Festival today? Barrow and find out where this journal came from. Curses! I forgot I had this worm in my pocket. Poor thing is dead now. Rest in peace, Kenneth. Okay, so now I have a just don't have a worm in my pocket. Okay. I'm assuming, though, that I can grab another worm. Good day. I'm still setting up the stall. Come back later. Oh, I'm sorry. The sass. Uh, okay. So they're setting up for the the cabbage festival. The big, big time. Cakes are gone. Is the church open still? So, okay. Thomasina. Okay, first off. Good morning, Arthur. What up? You look a bit addled. Are you feeling all right? I am not used to drinking as much as we did. I my head is pounding. To tell you the truth, Arthur, I've had a somewhat puzzling morning. Oh? Someone slipped this journal under the door of my room. Whose journal is it? I have no idea. The text refers to some sort of excavation. Well, Stanley must be playing tricks on you. He swore his innocence. I thought perhaps you might have done it? No, it wasn't me. That's for certain. Somehow I have a clear memory of last night. I'm gonna write something down. And if it happens, I'll have proof because I can do this and hold it up and show you that I wrote it. But I don't want to say it out loud. And if it doesn't happen, then nobody will have to see it. Okay. It's written. It's written on the thing. And that's going over there. I wonder who left me this journal then. Mind if I take a closer look? Please go ahead. Murdered. The writings of a madman. I don't disagree. Do the sketches mean anything to you? No. Not at all, but they turn me stomach. You might want to show this to Mother Mildred. Who is Mother Mildred? Some think her a witch. A witch? Aye. She might be able to help you with the symbols. Where can I find her? She lives alone in a little cottage within Hearn Wood here. You shouldn't have too much trouble finding her. The Thanks woods are going to be clear You're welcome. if I had left here. What do you make of this stone? It's a good shape for skimming across water. What is it? I'm not sure. It was strapped to the cover of the journal. How mysterious. I had a splendid time last night. I, I even remember most of it this time. Thanks for listening to me going on. I really appreciate it. I thought that was a mutual. Thank you too, Arthur. Awesome bit of dialogue. It was an awesome bit of dialogue. Shouldn't you be manning the station? The line is down. Track damage between Bewley and Bakewell. No trains for a day or more. Does that mean I'm stranded here? For the time being, Thomasina. 
capital. Why do people think Mother Mildred is a witch? Just because a woman lives alone in the woods doesn't mean she flies about on a broomstick. There's more to it than that. They say she lays with demons. <laughs> Who are they? Oh, you know, local folk. Hogwash. Some also go to her for potions and spells. Spells? Come now, Arthur. Truth be told, she's a nice old lady. I sometimes see her foraging in the brambles around here. Will she burn at the stake sometime soon? You might think us backward in Beulet, Thomasina, but we're not that backward. Sorry, Arthur. I only meant to tease. Goodbye. Tara. Okay. What do we? Oh. Thomasina, dear, come say goodbye to your father. Come on now, don't make him wait. I don't want to. Oh. <laughs> Aren't you going to miss me? I hate you, Daddy. Those are strong words for such a little lady. I want to come with you. We've been through this, little bird. You can't come with me this time. But we'll go to Seabra next month. I promise. Oh, what a dig that shall be. I hate you. Well, I love you. See you soon, little bird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well... <laughs> Okay, just making sure. So, there should be... Yeah. Hey! Please, forgive my intrusion. Are you Mother Mildred? Some call me that. I prefer Mildred Walker, given as that's my name. Apologies. Thomasina Bateman. I think we met at Bewley Station. I take it Panswick's men have cleared off. Good riddance. Those ruffians would cut their own noses off if he asked them to. This is the lady we did not What's tell. Seeing going then. I save your words, young lady. I know you're no sightseer. And I know exactly why you're in Bewley. Yeah. You won't get far by lying to me again. I'm sorry, I... I recognized you the moment I laid eyes on you at the station. I beg your pardon? Oh, yeah, it's quite a striking family resemblance. Yep. You have your father's eyes, Miss Bateman. Yep. Yep. You knew my father? Such piercing blue eyes he had. What a handsome young man. William. He was here, in Bewley. Now oh, she's yes. putting it together. A long time ago, mind. 25 years by my reckoning but i'll never forget those eyes you guys didn't hear me say can you tell me anything about leonard's shoulder i know of him as is the nature of such a small town i also know he invited you here little escapes you miss walker so they say my path rarely crosses with his let's put it that way but he's a nice enough fellow i see I'm gonna be wrapping up soon. I just, oh, I'm putting it back over here again. Why was my father in Bewley? He were helping Samuel Bride and excavate Hobbs Barra. You must be jesting. Do I look like I'm jesting? Said it, they said it. How did you come to meet my father? One might say I have a reputation in these parts. Folks from all around come to me for help with their ailments. Fernwood is abundant with flora that, if mixed correctly, will cure almost any ill. Your father must have caught wind of this, as one day he came to me, asking for a cure. A cure for what? Your mother was with child, and she was suffering the most terrible nausea. Adam. I made something to help her. 
The journal. This was entered in the journal. It belongs to my father. What journal? Nausea Gravidarum. Take a look at this. A passage recalls meeting a local wise woman to seek a tincture for his beloved's nausea gravidarum. Aye, that's me. I made the tincture for him. This, this is incredible. You don't recognize your own father's handwriting. It's been so many years since I've seen it. What do you make of this stone? I A W. I haven't a clue. Perhaps it's an old folk trinket or a talisman of some kind. The moors are steeped in folklore. Do you know Lord Panswick? I know his laborers make a mess of these woods, the brutes. The man himself hasn't graced me with his presence. You've never met him? Not since he were a wee lad. A maid brought him to me with a sore stomach. It were all the rich food they were feeding him. Now more. What can you tell me about the excavation? Well, not much. I only met your father twice. The last time he asked me if I knew anything about binding magic. Binding magic? He said he needed it for the excavation. Hogwash. My father is a oh. man of logic and reason. Why would he be asking about such nonsense? Perhaps you don't know him as well as you think you do. Anyway, I know nothing of magic and told him so. He seemed disappointed. I never saw him again, but I understand the excavation went ahead. Samuel Bryden hanged himself not long after. Reason enough for you to stay well clear of that place. Oh my gosh. You never saw my father again after the excavation? No, I always assumed he just went home. Hmm. Who excavated Hobbs Barrow alongside Samuel Bryden and my father? From memory, it were just the two of them. Charles Bryden mentioned there was a third man involved in the excavation. Is that so? Well, you'd best ask him about it. He knows more than I do. What do you think my father meant by binding magic? I've no idea. He didn't explain more and I didn't wish to pry. Hmm. This just doesn't sound like my father at all. You'll have to ask him yourself. I'm afraid my father has been incapacitated since I was a child. He cannot speak nor move. Terrible. Oh, I I'm sorry. You said that the flora here could cure almost any ill. Almost, my <laughs> Not dear. Not that. <laughs> but your father's affliction sounds beyond my abilities. The landlord of the Plough and Furrow told me about a folk tale associated with Hobbs Barrow. Something about a goblin. Are you familiar with it? No doubt there is such a tale. Name any beastie you can think of and someone round here will have a story about it. My thoughts precisely. Thank you for your help, Ms. Walker. That was awesome. That was awesome. Can I have some berries? They look somewhat like juniper. What are those berries you're picking? An ancient breed. No good for eating. However, they do have some medicinal qualities. I see. Or come over. Or come over. What are those berries you and I see. I don't know if you see that word. I don't know if you see that symbol. I don't know if you see that that word there. It's a thought. It's a thought. All right. That's where I'm going to wrap it up for tonight. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, Twitch, YouTube. <laughs> That's, that's, yeah. Uh, yeah. I shouldn't enter. Super cool. Miss Bateman. Yes. Remember what I told you when we first met? You're better off waiting for the next train back to the city. Why? Something terrible happened to Samuel Bryden in that barrow. Mm -hmm. Whatever they found down there, I'd wager it got to your father too. Yep. Tell me you won't disturb Hobbs Barrow. I can't make that promise, Mildred. Can't say I didn't warn you. There is something unnatural about that place. We must seek to understand the world by rational means, Ms. Walker. One cannot abandon reason. Thomasina? All right, I lied. We're not wrapping Thomasina, it up just come yet. Here this instant. I'm playing with 
Josephine. She can wait. This is very important. This is big. Hmm. It's so big that I'm going to save it until next time. It just said game save down in the corner. Uh, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's getting near the top of the hour here. Uh, and I do want to get going. That is I'll pick that up. Soon. Nope. Okay. Uh, yep. That is saved. Auto save, save over it. We're saved. Okay, cool. Uh, wow. This is getting juicy. This is getting very juicy. Um, I don't know how much is left, but uh, we'll get to it next time I'm streaming this. I, <laughs> I never know how to end these, so yeah. <laughs>